Now, when it comes to mental skills and being an athlete, I often get asked, which is the most important mental skill to learn? Firstly, athletes use a variety of mental skills to help them perform at their best. They also use these mental skills to help them cope with certain things like if maybe they had a setback or maybe they are dealing with certain things in their lives. But at the end of the day, you can benefit from all those mental skills at different stages of your athletic career. It's important to realize that there's not one specific mental skill that is going to be the magic answer. Now, another thing that's important is when it comes to mental skills, you are not just going to learn this once off and become an expert in using your mind. Mental skills is an ongoing learning process, very similar to your sport, learning a new skill, or even becoming better at your sport. You will be ongoingly practicing these skills in order to master them. So if you've been an athlete for 10 years, for 10 years, you will be practicing your mental skills as well as your physical and your technical skills. Now, I know this sounds daunting and it, I know it sounds like hard work and a lot of education that you need to do, but it's not because once it becomes automatic, you just need to make sure that you are staying on top of your game. And if there's things like building a routine or focusing on visualization, those are just things that you have to make sure that you constantly practice so that it can have the best benefit for your sport. Now let's talk about some of the key mental skills that athletes use when they compete. Now, number one, concentration. Now athletes need to be able to focus on the task at hand and they need to be able to block out certain distractions when it comes to their sport. At the end of the day, these distractions can make or break their performance. Number two, confidence. Athletes need to have confidence in their abilities and in their training in order to perform at their best. Now there's numerous topics that can go under confidence and how to be more confident. Today we are just talking about the general mental skills and what the most important points under them are. I will definitely be going into more detail in my future videos. Number three is motivation. Athletes need to be motivated to push themselves to the next level, especially when things are tough and then this will also help them reach their goals. Guys, also if you hear a funny noise in the background, it's my puppy eating one of her balls. <laughs> Number four is goal setting. Now athletes use goals to help them focus, but also help them stay motivated. Goals is also a great way to see if you're still on track with reaching your main goal at the end of the day. So it's very important to set those small goals, but then also those bigger goals so that you can see how you progress throughout the year. Number five is mental toughness. Now, mental toughness doesn't just mean that you need to be mentally tough through the toughest situations in your life, because at the end of the day, being mentally tough will help you bounce back if you had a bad meet, or maybe you are dealing with certain struggles in your life. But this also just helps you to continue to perform at your best. Number six is imagery, or also called visualization. This is where athletes can see themselves in their mind performing at their best. The most important thing when it comes to visualization is being able to use all of your senses. So again, in order to become better at visualization, you need to practice this over and over. Now, I don't recommend you practicing it seven days a week, 30 minutes a day. You can literally do this a couple of times a week, five minutes at a time, so that you can build that resilience to become better at visualizing and seeing yourself perform at your best. Number seven is relaxation and stress management. Now athletes use relaxation techniques like deep breathing and even meditation just to help them to be calm in certain situations. If they are maybe performing under pressure, it might be a really serious meet or competition they are competing in and they just need to get that heart rate down. They need to focus on the task at hand. Then that deep breathing in can be an amazing tool to help the athletes stay focused on the task at hand and then ultimately perform at their best. Also being able to do the deep breathing and knowing when to do it and how to do it can also be great for if the athlete is dealing with certain distractions. Now the muscle relaxation or muscle progressive relaxation can be a good relaxation exercise that you can do either before your training sessions just to get you completely relaxed, but it's also a great way for athletes if you do battle to sleep at night, maybe it's the night before competition or maybe it's before some heavy training, just to get yourself into a nice deep sleep. Number eight is self-talk. Now athletes use 
positive self-talk to help them stay confident and motivated. Being able to then use the self-talk in certain situations again can really be uplifting for the athletes. So whenever you catch yourself thinking negatively, it's very good to be able to immediately replace those negative thoughts with some positive self-talk in order to get yourself to be more confident and then also stay motivated. Now, last but not least, number nine, emotional control. Now, if an athlete can manage their emotions, this is a great way to keep yourself focused and not get too overwhelmed in competition. Or now that we've covered all of these mental skills, you will now understand how all of them plays a role in your sport. You could be using one or the other at different stages of your sport. And again, this also depends on the individual as well as the sport that they do. By reflecting and figuring out which of these skills maybe you are not the best at, you can write them down, rate them at the level of how well you can do them, and then you can start incorporating them into your training sessions as well. It's very important to make sure that you don't start practicing these mental skills the day of the competition because by then you should have already known which ones you want to use, which ones work best for you, and then also how to incorporate it into your competition. So using this in training the same way as what you would learn your technique or becoming a better athlete, that's the exact same way again you would be training these mental skills to become a better athlete at the end of the day. Guys, so in the comments below, I would love to know which of these mental skills you would love to learn more about. Guys, and if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, ring that notification bell, and I will see you in the next one.